So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a comparison between Apex Legends Mobile and the new 2.0 version High Energy Heroes. Some are saying that High Energy Heroes looks better and feels better. And keep watching this video because they might have plans to release it globally. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look today, boys and girls, at the Legends and the Legends comparison between Apex Mobile and High Energy Heroes. This is Ash on Apex Mobile. That is her Arch Snare, which is a tactical. And this is the new Ash version, which kind of looks like Bloodhound, uh, but it's a hybrid sort of mixture. Um, so he's got a Arc Snare as well, throws it. It does 15 damage to the enemy, and it sort of keeps them stuck there as well in this weird portal. So it's similar to like uh, Fade's Chamber, which you're going to see right here. By the way, this is the Leaker Bots video, so make sure you go sub to him on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Uh, but that is Fade's Chamber, which obviously keeps him in a chamber for a few seconds. This is the ultimate of this Bloodhound character. It highlights the enemies and obviously keeps them red, which is, you know, what Bloodhound did on Apex Legends Mobile. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. That's the Ash and sort of Fade hybrid. So here's Bloodhound on Apex Mobile. God, don't you just miss Capital City, boys? Don't you just miss it? That was his scan. So the scan on Bloodhound can only go forward on Apex Mobile. This Bloodhound vampire character, his scan can go in a radius all around you. So you don't even need to be facing the character to be able to see them. Um, so here is his, this is ultimate. Um, so yeah, his ultimate is the same as Bloodhound. It's like a bathe in the block where you can get like uh, boosted speed. You can um, get like, yeah, you're, you're just much faster. And every single, it lasts for 60 seconds and every kill adds 15 seconds on top. Any so it is OP. Um, here we have Crypto. Oh, King's Canyon, boys. King's Canyon. Edging to my eye um, sky. Yeah, here's Crypto. That is obviously his, uh, his drone. You can move it around. We all know this from Apex Legends Mobile as well. Um, you can obviously scan throne. enemies with to it too. And I'm recalling my drone. Yeah, you can pretty much recall it and pull it out wherever you want. So this is the crypto looking character, which is he's one of the only characters in this game that sort of looks similar to Apex Legends Mobile crypto. Um, so he has his drone, which is an automatic drone. That is his EMP, which is the ultimate. Um, and then check out the high energy heroes crypto drone as well. So you can pull it out. You can put where you want the um, the sort of uh, radius to be, and it is an even bigger radius. 50 damage on each enemy, and it scans them as well. So, beastie. Um, Gibraltar. Now, my man Gibraltar, the big boy, um, he's got his arm shield. He's got the exact same arm shield as his High Energy Heroes character. Looks like a Halo Spartan on freaking High Energy Heroes, which looks OP. I kind of prefer it, to be fair. Um, and... Yeah, here we go. So he's Don't got his up. dome, standard dome. On Apex Mobile, it was more of a sort of higher dome on this one. Uh, you can see here, look how beefy he looks as well, man. Looks like a friggin' tank. Um, so he's got the exact same drone, uh, uh, the same uh, dome that he had on Apex Mobile. You can't shoot in, you can't shoot out of it, um, which makes fights really fun. Um, and then I think he's going to show his ultimate right here, which is the, uh, the sort of missiles that launches down. Um, Quite a lot of missiles launched down on the Apex Mobile version, which is quite hard to dodge. That's 40 damage per hit as well. Um, let's have a look at what it looks like on High Energy Heroes. So the radius looks even bigger on High Energy Heroes. And then let's see how many... And it looks like even more missiles come down. I don't know if that's the same amount or even more, but that just hit for 100 as well. Woo! Gibraltar is a beefy character on this game, boys and girls. Um, Lifeline, we're going to look at right now. Um, Lifeline is OP on this game. Overpowered. So she's got a drone shield, which you can use to res enemies and put a shield out to protect them. And then she's obviously got the health drone as well, which you can put out in it. It's a sort of tentacle weird thing up your ass and heals you. Um, you've got the drone right here that you can just place. You can place the arm shield wherever you want. So you've got like a, uh, a force field shield right there. Um, last for, was that 10 seconds or 15 seconds? I didn't see. So 10 seconds, I think. And then that stops. Um, she's got a lifeline drone as well. That's the exact same. That obviously brings down health items and um, shields and stuff as well, which is really good mid-battle. So you always need like a lifeline character in your in your team. Um, the exact same one, but the, the, the sort of drop um, airdrop looks a bit different on a high energy heroes. Um, just look at the graphics on this game, no man, comparison. Uh, you gotta admit, the graphics on this game look... They, they kind of look more colourful and a bit more childish, but that, in turn, 
The Leaker bot also tested it on a low-end device, um, and it is smooth. So here's the Octane character. Um, pretty much the exact same version as he is on High Energy Heroes. Um, sort of looks similar as well, except from the white hair, and he has got some sort of, like, mask on. Um, uses his... Uh, he actually drinks instead of stims. So he doesn't inject himself. He's actually running around drinking a can of Red Bull. Red Bull really does give him wings. GG. Uh, he's got his uh, um, jump pad as well. Double jump you can do um, on high energy heroes as well. The jump pad is smaller and there's no like glitches or anything as well, which makes it amazing. So you can double jump, you can tap, like, tap strafe in the air, um, which is really sick as well. So the, the Octane's definitely one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion. So Pathfinder is cracked as well. So look right there. You have to connect to an obstacle in order to grapple and then look on high energy heroes you don't even need it he throws out a little ball that you can swing on wherever you want in the map um and then his standard zip line which goes like super far as well um which looks sick i'm just i'm, I'm loving everything about this game like look how far it goes it's just so p how far that can go that is actually mad that is actually mad um but yeah pathfinder is one of the best characters in the game with his uh tactical with that ability probably get nerfed because like you should be able to grapple onto things like throwing a little ball and being able to grapple wherever you want means you can get in and out of fights super quick so let me know what you think in the comments about pathfinder um then we got the valkyrie character um valkyrie we didn't actually experience in apex mobile so this was valkyrie that the leaker bot actually found um in the game files just before it was about to release um so we didn't even get valkyrie so she's got her jump pads it's a sort of similar looking one uh she's got the same sort of jetpack on the back she's got a bigger ass as well um yeah, we'll move on from that. Um, Valkyrie has got her missiles, which is a tactical, which does 21 damage on Apex Mobile. And then you can throw it out there. And I didn't even see what the damage did there. Right here, 25 and 30. So it does 55 if you hit them with two missiles. Um, you've got an ultimate ability, which is, can get you in and out of fights. You can jetpack up into the air wherever you want and go wherever you want. So... Valkyrie, I've been using Valkyrie a lot in this game in High Energy Heroes, and she's one of the best characters for movement. Absolutely cracked. Like, you can just go up in the air, like, mid-fight with an enemy, like, tap strafe in the air, and they can't even shoot you. It's so OP. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's her ability. It looks like this one goes high. Look at that background art. Yo, hold on. I need to I need to pause this real quick. Actually, no, we won't pause it. We'll keep it going. Um, but that background art was dope. Did you guys see that? I don't even know what that was, what kind of map that was. So Rhapsody, only one ability is similar, the rest are exclusive. Catch the hype. Um, so this is Rhapsody, which was one of the mobile exclusive legends in Apex Mobile. Um, I mained her for a bit as well, and she was OP. This is the Rhapsody on here. Um, so that ability, I'm not sure what that ability does again, but this ability is, um, this ability makes you invincible in this circle. So this circle, you, you're in it, it makes you invincible. If the enemies are shooting you while you're in it, while she's got that shield around her, they can't shoot you unless they blow up the thing, um, which is sick. Uh, and then we got Wraith as well. And Wraith is pretty much the same character in, Ape in High Energy Heroes. Um, she looks similar as well with the hood and the sort of assassin clothes and little scarf thing she's got on. Um, she's got a void as well, which we can go in and out. And that lasts for eight seconds. Uh, sorry, five seconds to void. Not sure. I think it lasts. Yeah, it lasts the same on, on high energy heroes as well. So all you Wraith mains, you're going to be able to play Wraith as well. And she's got a bigger booty in uh, high energy heroes too. Um, yeah. So she's got a ultimate, which is the, uh, the, the void as well. Teleport void. And gosh, she does some sort of Naruto run. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's... Wow, it actually goes really far on High Energy Heroes as well. Look how far it goes. No way. Wow, that is super far. And it looks sick as well. Like, look, It looks like a sort of galaxy sort of uh, thing inside the teleport as well, which looks OP. I just love that animation. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the uh, Wraith. I'm not sure if there's... There's any more characters? Um, no, I believe that's it. So now just to end the video, here's a sort of side-by-side -side comparison of the third person. Um, you can see Apex Mobile and High Energy Heroes. Um, the game definitely feels and looks, you know, a bit more childish and a bit more Valorant style. It's kind of like Apex Mobile slash Valorant High Energy Heroes, in my opinion. It's like a hybrid version, but 
it feels incredible. Like, I wish you guys could experience it as well. I know it's a pain to log in with the WeChat and the QQ, but if you guys can experience this game, you will not want to stop playing it. It is so good. I've been playing it a lot offline. Um, also, sorry for not uploading as much. Um, I'm going to be uh, uploading a lot more, hopefully going forward. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a comparison now. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Global launch, a lot of you guys are wondering about. Um, there's some sort of back-end news that they could be releasing it globally, um, but it's going to be releasing global in China first in October. October 10th, uh, I think it is. Um, sorry, uh, the, the 31st of October. Um, it's going to be released in China only, and then it's most likely going to be in China only for the first sort of two to three months, and then they'll possibly release a global version as well because there's a huge market for it that's the sort of talks behind the scenes and the rumors that we have at the moment because every mobile game they have a china version that's always like three months ahead with like a season ahead like they did with apex mobile you could go into the china version and you could see like some cool stuff that was coming to the main version soon um i think they did that with apex mobile or some other mobile games cod mobile they do that with um so yeah that's that's the sort of plan how i see it. it's going to release china only in october you're going to be able to log in, keep that account, and then possibly use that for the global version when it comes out as well. So that's the end of this video, guys. I promise to post a lot more as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you boys in the next video. Peace.